In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clear the page file.sys. Uh, page file is basically something Windows creates in your C drive, and it uses that to swap data between the hard drive and your actual physical memory. By default, this file can be up to three times the amount of your memory, and it could consume a lot of space in your solid state drive if you got one. If you're running out of space and you want to clear the page file, then this video will help you clear that out. Now, what I will do in this video is I'm going to disable the page file because I have 16 gigs of RAM and I don't use powerful applications and I don't think I'll run out of memory. Now, if you only have 4, maybe 8 gigs and you use a lot of applications like games, Adobe Suites and all of that, then you may want to leave the page file virtual memory on otherwise applications may start crashing alright so from here what you do is you go right click on windows then you go to system from system you want to go to system info and then advanced system settings you want to click on the advanced tab and then on the performance you want to click on settings under settings you want to click on advanced and then here on the bottom you're going to see virtual memory and as you can see my memory right now is 9260 megabytes which is 9 gigs and I only had 120 gig solid state drive so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on change uh, generally in your case this might be checked you want to go ahead and uncheck that if you want to have a custom size you can go ahead and do so. If you go to Google and Google what size you should make it, it will tell you how you need to calculate the custom size. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on no paging file. Make sure you click on set. This is going to give you a warning saying that if you do this and something happens, Windows might not be able to tell you what the problem was. So I'm just going to go ahead and click yes and then click OK. It's going to ask me to restart, but I'm going to do that in a second. So the last thing you need to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my registry. So type in registry and open the registry editor. OK, go ahead and go to the H key local machine system. Go to control set then control and then keep scrolling down until you see session manager and then click on memory management okay there's an option here that says clear page file at shutdown so just to make sure that this page file is now longer available and that it clears at shutdown I'm gonna go ahead and right click that and go modify and from zero I'm just gonna go ahead and switch this to one to make it true. So now anytime you restart your computer then your page file should clear. Alright, you close everything now. And then once you restart your page file size will decrease. Alright, well thank you for watching. If you have any questions and issues leave your comment below and please subscribe.